So as you might have surmised from the title, the main reason I want to share this match in particular is because my opponent, Poilahala, is using a Brenda in his box. Now I immediately recognize his box as a more rush oriented one, so I figured I'd actually ban Listel first. I run a pretty healer heavy box, so Listel always is very annoying. What I really did not expect is to see Poilahala first pick his Brenda here. That's a big dick move if I've ever seen one. Just huge confidence in that Brenda there. I ban some dangerous AoEs and choose Yulia into his team. Yulia should be able to kill Juggler pretty easily if he decides to pick him, and of course Estelle has no magic guard. Alternatively, he might have picked Akka, but instead he actually picks Yusuke. So it's already obvious he has a really good plan in mind. He's gonna kill my tank with Brenda and then just clean up everybody with Yusuke. Uh, I think Yusuke has a lot of trouble these days fighting any sort of team that has a tank, but if you have a way to take out their tank, then Yusuke is just going to clean house on the rest of the team very easily, uh, with a few key exceptions like Listel and stuff. So I pick Old Landia so I can buff Yulia, and he also immediately gets rid of the other two mythical characters I have. Uh, again, just really, really good pick ban from Puelahala here. So I picked Matthew here. It's actually not for his faction buff, but actually so he can sprint. I predicted that he was probably going to bring Frontal Assault on Brenda, and one often overlooked aspect of sprint is that it actually protects you from passive disables, but as you'll see in a minute, that really doesn't save me for long. So Puelahala finishes off his team by picking Akka, of course, alongside another DPS. Lambda does lots of AoE damage, and I'm assuming he actually remembers that Almeida is actually in the mythical faction, and Almeida is actually pretty passable against AoE strategies. Uh, Tiaris, of course, is terrible at that, so I pick Wheeler here. In retrospect, I probably should have picked Tiaris here, but you know, hindsight and all that. So one of the biggest mistakes I made here is that I got way too greedy with my skill selection here. I did not bring faction buff on Landius because I thought it was redundant, but it probably would have improved my chances here if I just started this match by faction buffing Landius. And here you can see he's already setting up for his Aka Rush. Uh, he transformed Yusuke first so that he wouldn't waste a turn of the attack buff, but now Brenda has enough movement to reach me so I have no choice but to cast Sprint immediately instead of faction buffing. So that means Landius is just facing down Brenda without a defense buff. So now Brenda just comes charging in all by herself. Just what an absolute unit, just does not give a fuck. Uh, also check out that 3C animation though. Uh, Zalona has definitely been upping their animation game. So of course Brenda goes for the frontal assault here, aiming for that one shot on Landius. But since I casted Sprint, I'm immune to the passive block. So while I stopped his frontal assault from one-shotting my Landius, it's still pretty rough for me because I have to kill Brenda as my first move next turn. Because if I don't, uh, Brenda has her act again ready, and that has a pretty good chance of just tearing out my team very easily. And of course he also teleported his Yusuke forward. This fall off AoE from Lambda also screws with my plans a lot, because now it means my Landius is at really low HP again. Uh, it's very unlikely he's going to be able to take another hit. Uh, certainly not one from that angry Yusuke, who also has a damage boost from Iris teleporting him. So this is another example of me getting way too greedy with my skill selection here. I actually brought three attack skills on Yulia. I brought the Godly Menace, Holy Justice, and Discipline set. In this case, I really should have brought Faith. If I had brought Faith, I might have been able to heal Landius up enough so that he can take this follow-up attack from Yusuke. Although I think that's still pretty unlikely. Uh, this is a fully buffed up Yusuke with plus 30% attack, and my Landia is still largely unbuffed. Uh, Yusuke even gets his Spirit Gun reset. So being that I'm also a Lambda user, I know for a fact that Lambda is one of the frailest units in the game. So I knew it was pretty likely that my Matthew could take out Lambda, even without an ally around to activate its talent. Uh, but even though I have a numbers advantage, it still looks really bad for me. Yusuke alone can solo my entire team very easily. And Yusuke just has way too much movement and range after getting angry for me to be able to stay out of his range. So unfortunately I hand him turn initiative here, but I don't think there's really anything else I could have done. Uh, if I had just let Lambda AoE my entire team instead of killing her, uh, it's unlikely I would have been able to heal up. So of course uh, the Dark Tooth turn comes out on Julia, and there's really absolutely nothing I could do here. If I had brought Tiaris instead of Wheeler, I probably could have just cast shield on Julia and that might have saved me, but that probably would have left me more vulnerable to Lambda, and he probably would have approached me a different way. So the rest of this match is just uh, old Landius missing all kinds of kills, and him making me wish I had more Gift of Eternal Lives to be handing out. And right here he's just waiting for me to move my Yulia up before he kills her. She was definitely within range, uh, no matter where she went. Yusuke has a ton of movement when he's angry and transformed, and all his Raygons can reach 4 spaces away. So nothing here left to see other than to see old Landius struggle pointlessly against this Onslaught. Nothing else to say here, uh, just really well played by Poilhala. He had a solid plan mine and pick ban appropriately to achieve that plan and of course you gotta respect the Brenda first pick that's something you see very often all right see you guys next video